I've stayed quiet on the whole Russia-Ukraine situation. Why? Because I don't trust Russia. I don't trust Ukraine. I don't trust NATO. I don't trust China. And I don't trust the United States. I don't trust any of them. I don't trust that any of them are there to do the right thing. So, I'd love to have more access to Russian propaganda just to find out what their, their people are being told. Um, but Google and other search engines, even DuckDuckGo, doesn't want us to have that information. Now, I understand that... I, I, I mean, I, I, they should put on it like a little disclaimer. You have the links to them, but have a disclaimer. Hey, this is, this is Russian. You should even say this is Russian propaganda, whatever, right? I like to know what the different people are being told so I can understand why some people make the decisions they do. I like to know why some people on the right feel as strongly as they do in some of the areas they do. I don't want to just look at people as if they're irrational. Most people have some sort of rationality in why they think the way they do, why they make the choices they do, why they take the positions they do. There's a reason, and I like to know those reasons. It doesn't mean I want to agree with them. It just means I want to understand people's positions. And I'd like to understand Russia's position a little bit more, but it's hard. Now, I am in no way condoning what Russia is doing in any way by, by saying this. I just want to know what they're thinking. And it's hard to find. Like, for instance, when I go on Odyssey and try to watch RT there, um, Odyssey can't handle a, a lot of stuff. that they're, they, they can't handle the bandwidth necessary to do what they need to do. You can watch the RT feed there for maybe five seconds, and then you get the little uh, uh, circle spinning for 15 seconds then you get video for five seconds video a little mini thing for 15 more seconds it's not watchable another problem is you can't really get to you have to watch all the other crap because it's only a live stream they, they, they don't have a channel where they post individual videos anymore so i'd have to sit and watch for hours their feed just to find out what they might be saying to the russian people and even that might not be that so because, you know, you're watching an English version. So, you know, you don't know. We don't know. And that's frustrating. But I'm not on anyone's side on this. I'm not on anyone's side. I just hope that this can be resolved without actually becoming World War III. Um, I don't like how the, I, I really, really am uncomfortable with the way that Biden's gaffes are. I mean... When Trump would say things that would offend people, at least it was just offending people and not something where it could trigger a world event, right? Um, I'm sorry. I just, I, I'm just so disappointed, incredibly disappointed in Biden and, and, and the job he's done. But whatever, you know, um, this doesn't mean I would have preferred Trump, although sometimes I wonder... But, uh, but I mean, when you look at what Trump's been saying, <laughs> he's kind of siding with Putin. So it's, it's kind of weird. Um, of course he, he likes dictators. So, you know, I think I've went on long enough. I just wanted to, to chime in about Russia because, uh, I don't trust them, Ukraine, NATO, China, or the United States. So have a joy, joy day. <laughs>